भाई ओके इन फिफ्थ ग्रेड इज वेन I decided to do a photo shoot that captures the essence of my story and the struggle that I dealt with for majority of my life. When I was born, um, I was born with a very large birthmark on my left arm, and it extends over my shoulder, my back. Um, right uh, the back of my right leg and the back of my right ankle and I was okay with it up until the fifth grade up until then I didn't think I was different I didn't think anything of it and it wasn't until the fifth grade when I noticed or felt like something was wrong so to say my name my name is Sherelle Gilbert Um, I work at the National Children's Advocacy Center as a training coordinator. I am a blogger at SheExperience.com and co-founder of The Ladies' Lounge. I remember specifically one time um, I was at school in the hallway and a boy at, or I guess he saw the birthmark that's on my ankle and he asked, what is that? And I just froze. I didn't know what to say and I guess I thought that because he asked what was that, that it was a problem, that it wasn't, that it wasn't cool. So I just remember running into the bathroom and pulling up my sock over my leg and then just pretending that it didn't happen. And again, I remember he asked like, well, what was that on your leg? And I just remember like nothing, you know, telling him it was nothing. And I think at that point, it was when I figured or I decided that You know, I wasn't going to allow anybody, I wasn't going to give anybody the opportunity to tease me. I was never teased about my birthmark. I was never bullied or anything. It was just, it was my own personal insecurity. I didn't give anybody the opportunity to tease me because I just decided from that point on that I was going to cover up. Um, I remember summers, I remember I started hating summers and I would always wear long sleeves, long pants pretty much throughout the year, just trying to find ways to cover up my skin that I just thought was ugly. And probably in my senior year of high school is when I started to use body makeup. I was introduced to body makeup probably on TV or something. And I just remember this daily ritual that I would go through every morning putting on the body makeup and, you know, being somewhat comfortable or being able to finally wear short sleeves, feeling somewhat comfortable but still self-conscious because, I mean, it was makeup. And I remember doing this <clears throat> all throughout my senior year and throughout the four years of college. Um, none of my closest friends really knew um, that I even had this birthmark. Um, I just remember waking up maybe a couple hours before everybody else just so that I can put on this makeup on my arm, on my leg. I had to let it sit and dry. And it was just a long process that I did every day for four years. And it wasn't until um, my grad school year, 2008, 2009, when I was in New Jersey, that um, I finally just asked myself, like, what are you doing? I just realized Um, just throughout my life that I had been hindering myself, that I hid and covered up for so long that I just didn't allow myself to live. And, you know, I remember God asking me, you know, are you going to just continue to do this the rest of your life? Are you going to continue to sit on the sideline the rest of your life? Or are you going to live? And I guess that moment is when I decided, you know, either... I'm going to have to get over this or I'm going to try to see if there's something that can be done. By this time, I had been to so many different dermatologists that told me that 
There was absolutely nothing wrong with me that it was just a birthmark and it had grown, you know, with me as I grew from a little girl to an adult and that there was nothing wrong. And I decided to go to um, a dermatologist in New York and my aunt accompanied me to the doctor. And when he saw me, he was amazed that, you know, me being an African-American and having such large hyperpigmentation that it wasn't cancerous, it wasn't linked to any type of skin diseases. And basically he told me what all the other dermatologists told me, that there was nothing wrong and that if he did any type of surgery that I would be more unhappy than I was when I walked through his door. So at that point, you know, I knew that I had to just accept this and get over it. And since then, or I guess that day, I remember going home and throwing away all of the body makeup that I had accumulated over the years. And that was the very last day or the very last time that I even touched it, you know, I threw it away. And since then, I've just been on this journey to really loving myself and just embracing who I am and who God created me to be. So that's why I did this photo shoot, um, which was an idea that my aunt gave me back in 2009. And I had put it off until now. I think now was the perfect time for me to do that. And I teamed up with Charles Beeson, who's done several other shoots and other projects for me. And we pulled it off. He helped me, you know, really capture the essence of my story. So I'm just thankful. <laughs> that was a lot.